Welcome to Roaring News, a Top Tiger television production. Empowering connections between home, school, and community, one story at a time. Reporting from beautiful Yardley, Pennsylvania, let us enlighten your mind in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good morning, Edgewood. Principal Holquist here welcoming you to the virtually Edgewood school year. We look forward to empowering connections through our Roaring News broadcast, one story at a time. We may not be together in the school building. However, we are together in our hearts. And now for our extended forecast. Good morning, Edgewood Tigers, and welcome to Wacky Weather with Mr. Stoffergan on this Friday. October 16th. As you can tell today, I will be recording from our very own Edgewood Production Studios. As you can tell, today we're going to be looking at some rain. We're looking at about 70% chance with a high of 59 and a low of 43. I came prepared. The rest of the week we're looking pretty good. Low chances of rain and we're dancing in the 60s. Looks like our high will be on Wednesday with a high of 69, so a little bit chillier out there. So make sure you're dressed accordingly. Are you ready for some fun facts of the day? 30 freaky facts about weather, and we're only going to do a few. You can tell the temperature by counting a cricket's chirps. I might have to go outside and count, start counting. Sandstorms can swallow up entire cities. Whoa. And dirt mixed with wind can make dust storms called black blizzards. Hmm. I'll have to look that up and see what it looks like. Did you know a mudslide can carry rocks, trees, vehicles, and even entire buildings? What? And the coldest temperature ever officially recorded was negative 89.2 degrees Celsius. All right, mathematicians, go ahead and take this number and see if you can figure out what it is in Fahrenheit. There's your challenge for today. All right, ladies and gents, have a great Friday and have a great weekend and stay dry today. Wacky weatherman, Mr. Stoffergan, out. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear everyone. Happy birthday to you. My name is Mrs. Crane and I am your art teacher. I am so excited to be teaching art to you and I cannot wait to see the amazing things that I know that you will be creating. I look forward to having so much fun. Can't wait to see you. at Edgewood. I am so happy to be here and I'm so excited to get ready working with all the fourth grade students who decide to join the band or the orchestra and continue working with the fifth grade students that already started with Mr. Bygot last year. Some things about me, I love to wear funny socks so anytime we're in a lesson together if you decide to join band ask what kind of socks I'm wearing they're often pretty funny and goofy. I also like to wear bow ties, one of my favorite things to do. I think it looks pretty snazzy. 
Besides that, I love to play baseball. Every once in a while, I'll play some video games. But most importantly, I love band. And I love instruments like the trombone. I look forward to getting to meet each and every one of you. And I'm so excited to start the school year being part of the Edgewood family. Good morning, Edgewood. Do you like to use your imagination? Do you have small seed ideas that are just waiting to grow into something bigger? Let's learn about stop motion animation. What is stop motion animation? Well, stop motion animation is a way to make a short movie completely out of still pictures. How do I make a stop motion animation? First, set your scene and take a picture, make a small change, take another picture, make another small change, repeat these steps until you're done the scene. Put the still pictures together to make your video. Here's an example of stop motion animation video. We want you to share your creativity with our Edgewood community by submitting an original stop motion animation video. Your video could be featured in the Roaring News. Who? Any interested student, kindergarten through fifth grade. What? Create a stop motion video less than one minute. When? Please do this by October 22nd. How? Your video can be silent or could include sound. Where? Email your video to kmarco at pensburysd.org. Have fun and be creative. Today we will try a new mindfulness exercise. We will use the exercise to focus on our gratitude for people and things in our lives. So let's sit comfortably, close our eyes, and inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So take one more deep cleansing breath in and slowly release. As you sit comfortably in your space, close your eyes and push away all other thoughts. Allow the thoughts to float away, leaving space in your mind for the activity. Think of something that you are truly grateful for. Picture that person or that thing in your mind. Can you see the thing or person clearly? Notice how the person or thing looks. If it's a person, what facial expressions does the person have? What is the person's body language? If it's a thing, what colors do you notice the most? What are the textures of the item? As you think of the person or thing that you're grateful for, notice the feelings in your body. Look for feelings of warmth and appreciation in your body. Where do you feel the gratitude? Where does it radiate in your body? Allow yourself to feel the gratitude and let it thro flow through your body, filling you with joy and filling your mind with positive, happy thoughts. Now open your eyes and take a moment to reflect on what you experienced. When we take time to focus on the things that we're grateful for, we give our bodies and minds a healthy boost. And now for some words of wisdom. Former President Ronald Reagan once said, There can be no greater good than the quest for peace, and no finer purpose than the preservation of freedom. A quest is a long search. 
He was saying that one of the greatest things we can do is search for peace in the world. You may say, but I am such a very young person. How can I quest for peace? You can quest for peace by searching for peace inside yourself. You can do that by paying attention to what makes you angry and by noticing when you are being unfair to others. You can talk to someone you trust, such as a teacher or counselor or parent, and discover ways to act more peacefully in your life. Look for ways to be fair and respectful with other people. You may not be able to stop wars in the big wide world, but you can choose to be as peaceful as you can in your own life. If everyone made that choice, do you think we would have more peace in the world? With something to think about, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. That is all the buzz from our news desk on this day. As a tradition with our words of wisdom, the tiger and I want to make sure you remember to make it a great day or not because the choice is yours.